What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to beautiful Haynes, Alaska and today is an exciting day. It's been uh, a long project of moving our mine site over to this new claim but we are finally ready to move dirt and I mean right now we're going to be starting to move some dirt. Uh, so yes, finally back to another digging episode in Gold Rush. I gotta say, it's good to be back. It's been a slight nightmare moving everything over. It went smoothly, it's just, it's such a big job to move literally everything to a new claim site. So, I have fixed the light, I have light prepared for tonight, because we are going to be doing a lot of digging in this episode, uh, so we can start building our open pit mine. Now, as you can see, these are the squares that we're gonna be targeting. We have to start right from the side, though, because we want to dig deep, so we have a nice flat ground to mine in later on. Now let me show you in case you did miss the gold map. Don't really know what we're working with here. This is exactly it. We're gonna start our mine up here, which is what we're targeting right now. That will unlock these other major gold veins all around here, and we can slowly move the mine all the way down to the middle of our field. Now we have this major vein over here. This is probably one of the best veins in the actual mine site itself. It's kind of in the middle though, so I don't know if we're gonna just continue mining through all this gray zone, or if we'll start a new mine maybe on this side later on. This is actually really close to our extraction zone too, so we should be able to utilize our Frankensteins for that one. I don't know if we'll get enough Frankensteins to be able to uh, actually Frankenstein our gold all the way, or our dirt all the way to our gold extraction site. Uh, so yeah, we got the dump truck out again, and we're gonna have to manually transport that stuff, which slows down our yields. Hopefully it's it's still w worth it to move here because now we have to transfer the truck But we have much better ground. That's hopefully gonna give us some more gold. So yeah, we're back out in the excavator Man, it has been a while since I've dug with this thing Hopefully I still have the skills to do it and yeah Basically, we're just gonna start with the excavator because it's easier to dig on flat ground with the excavator than it is the front-end loader Once we have a little bit of a pit going on we'll move the front-end loader over because that can bring a lot more dirt a lot quicker to our actual extraction site. So yeah, I guess we'll just start. Hopefully we don't break too many teeth here because we are going to be going into hard ground. Obviously this isn't that deep. And uh, I gotta say, it's, it's kind of nice to be playing with the excavator once again. I have to get used to using it again. It's all about uh, the distance so we don't have to move that bucket at all. So this should be good for the start. We can just drop it in here. This dirt's probably really not that good anyway, so I'm not too worried about losing any of this until we get into those squares, obviously. Then the, then the good dirt comes in. All right, first thing I'm noticing is how steep this bedrock is going down. We are only, what, a couple feet in, and it looks like I'm already probably two or three feet down. That means that's going to be a crazy incline to drive on. Now, hopefully this ground kind of flattens out like our old claim site. Uh, the bedrock does go up and down from time to time, though. Even our old, old site it did, it just wasn't that aggressive. So I'm really hoping this ground flattens out because to have an open pit mine, you kind of need flat bedrock or driving around in it is going to be a slight nightmare. Now, we're just starting out, though, so I think it will flatten out. It's just kind of scary how aggressive this uh, incline is already, as you can see. Okay, now I'm getting really nervous. Um, I don't know if you can see the bedrock. I'm kind of glitching through the ground right now, but it is a freaking drop off. Okay, now we got a good view of it, as you can see. Uh, it's hard to tell where the actual ground is and where the bedrock is. It does look like it even that evens out a little bit, but this drops off like crazy. Um, that being said, as long as we can keep the dump truck out of the actual pit mine, it won't really matter how big the drop off is if this thing flattens out. As long as I can drive around with the front end loader, it doesn't it doesn't matter because I I don't have to get out of the pit mine once I'm in it. Because we have the Frankenstein's, we should be able to put one Frankenstein inside the mine and then one Frankenstein maybe on the outside. We should be okay, but yeah, this is going to be interesting terrain to deal with. We might even want to check out the other side if this gets too difficult, uh, just to see if maybe that's easier ground to deal with, because this is, this is crazy bedrock. Usually bedrock's flat, but as you can see, we got this little mountain here in this one area, so I wonder if it knows that we were going to target this area, and it tried to make the bedrock as difficult as possible. Okay, and here is our first little bit of earth that we've moved. I gotta say, it feels so good to finally get some dirt through the system. So, uh, yeah, it's been what? I think three or four episodes now since we've done any gold mining in a gold mining game. Uh, so I know you guys have been just as impatient as me. 
Uh, but yeah, we got a little bit of dirt. I don't think there's much gold in this dirt right now. I honestly don't think we're gonna get better yields than our old site anytime soon, just because of these crazy travel times. Now, don't get me wrong, the dump truck's pretty fast, as you can see, but when I have to stop mining all the time, that's when we slow down our yields quite crazily. And with this thing, uh, for example, I'm not even turning on my uh, gold extraction right now because of the travel times that, it, that that's involved. And being that we're buying our water right now, uh, I don't want to waste any water. So what we're going to do is fill up this dump truck once again so we have a full dump truck and then a full system. And then we'll turn on the wash plant, kind of as we did way back in the day. Uh, let all the dirt go through the system and then get back to digging once again. It just doesn't make sense to deal with the breakdowns that a, uh, a water pump will have. You're probably going to spend just as much on a water pump as you will the water that you need if you're conservative with it um, to put it through your system. I mean, obviously, if I have my system on 24-7 as I'm digging, we wouldn't want to buy our water and we'd want to pump it in, but I'm not doing it that way. I'm going to try and conserve water because I actually care about the environment. Oh my god, like seriously though, this is, look at this, this is so weird, I'm just by the side, and we're what, six feet deep now? This is the, I don't even know if we'll reach the bottom with, with the excavator, we might need to get the front end loader inside this crazy terrain, just to dig to the actual bedrock here, because I don't think I'm going to actually reach it. So I honestly don't know what we're going to do to get this open pit mine started, this might not be the option right here, but we started here, we may as well get some dirt from here, and at least do one clean out, but yeah, like, Maybe over there might be a good option. Problem is I have to dig so far. Actually, let me now, now, now that we're thinking about that, let me see where this ends. That actually might be a really good option now, now that I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking we might want to go to that side. Yeah, it's right on the edge as you can see because if we look down, we uh, glitch out the ground here. That's looking very flat actually. So you know what? I think we're going to say screw it to this side and move everything over there. I didn't have a chance to look at the actual bedrock, and now that I see it, this side really isn't the option anymore, and that's looking actually great over there. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to move over there, and let's not waste any time and do that. We'll obviously just let this dirt go through the system real quick. All right, well, the system is ready to go, and let's finally turn this thing on. Should we? Let me actually just try and fix this thing. Again, it just needs a little more slack, so I was hoping it wouldn't be ugly here, but if we just give it slack like that... That should be good. At least we won't hit it with the front of our truck now. Uh, okay, so I forget how I did this. Um, all right, that's right. So we have our actual extraction or clean-out system over here on one pipe, and then we have this one on another one. So we're going to turn that bad boy on and turn off magnetite, separator, wavetable, and gold nuggetator, and everything else is good. We are officially... Moving gold. I don't see any in the system yet. That's a bad sign. That means probably not too much gold in this dirt. Oh, actually, that's right. It takes some time to get up the conveyor belt, so it probably wasn't actually any in the system. Now, though, look at that. 2%. Isn't that exciting? And we got 2% down there, too. So, finally, we are actually extracting gold out of this ground. It feels great. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna move everything over to the other side now that we figured out that there's basically a giant cliff drop-off right below our ground. All right, we're slowly making our way down the hill. As you can see, it's not the cleanest of cleanups, but we can use the front end loader to get all these little pieces or the bulldozer if we do want to rent one. Uh, it just basically needs to be a pathway down anyways. Obviously, there's a little gold in this, though, so we do want to collect that stuff later on. Uh, now, we should... I think we're almost done here. What are we sitting at? 89%, yeah. Once this Frankenstein is full, we should be ready for our first clean-out, and, uh, gotta say I'm excited. I don't know what the yields are gonna be like here. It's a pretty, sh it's pretty shallow ground, so I don't think we're gonna get into any of the good stuff right now. But, I mean, you gotta start somewhere, and it's just nice to finally be getting some more gold in the bank. At least, hopefully, that would really suck if we get no gold at all. Um, I doubt that would ever happen, at least hopefully not. But yeah, I thought I would just show you my progress right now, which really isn't much at all. We haven't really dropped down. We're still very shallow, as you can see, compared to the other side, at least. Uh, we're probably only, what, five feet down? Which really isn't that much, considering how much dirt we've moved. We've moved, uh, nine tiles total so far. All right, so it did take a little bit over five trucks. This is the sixth truck here. I just wanted to make sure we get 100% to get a, the best yield possible, because I want to see what's in this ground, man. Even if we're at the starting ground, it's going to be cool to see how much gold is indeed in it. Uh, I'm a little nervous, though. I do have loans I have to pay, or one loan, I should say, and uh, 
We're getting kind of low on money, 67 grand, so I'm really hoping this first payday is a good one. That way we really don't have to worry at all. And yeah, it's 99% through the whole system. All right, we'll turn it all off. Oh God, I forgot I gotta climb a mountain. All right, turn it off. Turn it off. How much water did we use just out of curiosity? So we started with 500, so we used about 30,000 liters, gallons, whatever this metric is. Which would be about, just to show you guys, it'd be less than $500, which in the grand scheme of things sounds like a lot of money, but when you're gold mining, it really isn't. So yeah. Just looking at the mats here, I'm not too excited at all. <laughs> Usually those things are really dirty. Let's check the top ones out. Looks like we got a few, like that guy right there is looking real good. But yeah, I don't think this is going to be an amazing clean out. I didn't expect that. But yeah, we're not going to find out until we find out. So let's uh, grab those mats, bring them up here, and get the job done. Well, gotta be honest, getting a little nervous now. Uh, just clean, finish up, finishing up cleaning the mats. We're on the final four here, and a good indication of gold is how much is in the mats. In our last place, uh, the average was a little bit over one bucket, and I don't know. Maybe we might be on par, actually. No, it's looking like we're not even going to get a bucket. I don't know. It's going to be close. But yeah, compared to the last area, we just got over a bucket. Now, the problem is I don't got a bucket here, so... Um, yeah, I really still got to organize a little bit. We got a big mound of moss mats and everything over here. As I was saying, uh, the last cl claim site, a good, or at least an average yield was a little bit over a bucket, and it looks like that's what we're going to get here. So I'm kind of expecting similar yield results to the last area until we get deeper into the ground, obviously. Right now, we're just scratching the surface quite literally. I have no idea how much gold this is going to be, but I don't think it's going to be our best payday ever. That's for damn sure. We'll see what happens here. If we can just get a good bucket, that would be exciting. But uh, I'm just happy to get some gold in the bank, obviously. So, yeah, let's get it started and finally clean this thing out. God, it's been so long. I don't know where the button is. Is it on the back? Okay, I might have to move this stuff. <laughs> this is on the back. Is it there? I can't. I can't see. God, everything in this game is just sometimes... What the hell? Oh, because of the freaking ladder? Now, now I'm stuck! Oh, you bastard! Yeah, quickly realizing I thought this would be a good spot for our clean out just because it's so damn close. God, if we could just have like a, some flat ground over there. If we could have flat ground anywhere, that would be great. So like I said, we might move this thing into the shed over there. I'm thinking it's probably a good idea now that I've seen. Oh, I can't. Why can I not climb up? Oh my god, I'm just trying to grab my cable. Okay, I'm slowly going up. I mean, okay, are we good? Are, can I please get off now? Why can I not climb up? Okay, okay, just get, get, get away from it before it sucks me in. I'm, I'm like sneaking, thinking it's, <laughs> it's, that's gonna change anything. Okay, come on, grab it. What the hell is going on with the cord? Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna pull it. And pulling it was a bad idea, I'm thinking. What the freak are you doing? Okay, you know what? Screw it. We'll just we'll just have a mess over here. That's totally fine. It's, it's messy already anyways. And there's the buttons I was looking for. Jeez, that took way too long. Okay, back to... Wait, is this the bucket with the 3% in it? Probably. These buckets are the ones that came from underneath it. Ah! That was a little frustrating to say the least. Okay, and we'll just... So yeah, there's like no storage here. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Again, it was just due to the travel times. So if you have any suggestions on where we should put this thing, let me know. I mean, we still have that shed way over there, too. I don't think there's going to be any place down there that it would make sense. Okay, 1,000 grams of magnetite. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it. We're just going to do both at the same time, I'm thinking, this time. we're gonna. I just want to get some gold in the bank. I want to sniff that gold and love it a little bit. Okay, so first bucket, 21 grams so far. We'll see how good it is. And, uh, yeah, we'll do a second bucket here. 14% left. It's not looking good, guys. It's looking like it's, you know, the ground that we came to expect. Not even the ground we came to expect. 73 grams. I'm usually happy with a little over 100, so... Uh, unless it gets way better, the planter buckets are not too hot right now. One thing I will say is we seem to be getting way more magnetite. Like, way more. We got 4% already? 4% was my average, like, 2 to 3 cleanouts in the other site, so I'm wondering if, like, this is a gold-rich or a magnetite-rich ground here or something, because that's weird that I already got 4%. 
And we got 347 grams of gold in that one. So that was probably ugh, our top bucket was 347. Our best has been like eight to 900. So uh, just for comparison's sake. Now is this one throwing 3% in it? Hell yeah, it is. Get in there. Okay, and there we go. 27 grand down the bank. Hopefully we can get that back right now. 632 grams of magnetite in that one. Woohoo! And 3,100 grams of magnetite, which really isn't that much. What the hell is going on now? Zero grams of gold. Thanks a lot. Really, really enjoyed that zero grams. Now, if we can get 1,000, I would be so happy. That boosted up really quickly. That's for damn sure. Yeah, that's the final bucket, by the way, guys. So this is what we got out of our system. It's slowing down now. Come on, hurry up. Still, 800 grams, I mean, I'm just excited to get a little bit. I, I don't remember how much 800 grams is worth, but it's looking like we're, are we gonna hit the nine? Come on, give, give me the nine. Yeah, there we go. A little bit over nine, 907. And that is our first clean out on the new claim site. I gotta say, I mean, it's not the best that we've seen by far, but for some starting ground, we literally broke the crust of the surface, so a lot of that was empty ground. I mean, usually at the top, there's no gold at all. Let's actually look at our gold map and see what we were really digging on here. It doesn't actually show us really anymore, but that's an indication right there of kind of what we're working with. Uh, this is all crap. Nothing in it. And then down a little bit deeper, it gets better and better. Why isn't it showing all these, though? Did I mine this far? Well, you can see kind of the indication here on what I'm talking about. Now, it says I'm getting 6 grams a meter even up here. And then 40, like, it's just right at the bottom is where the g truly good stuff is for this ground. And it even does that all the way through. You can see it kind of, once you get into the middle, though, it's a little bit better. And that's kind of what we're looking for, that middle ground that's really, really good. And uh, obviously, once we're done that, we'll move over to here where it should be really, really good. Like 10,000 grams of gold just in that one spot. This, I think, yeah, this is even better over here. Uh, so I gotta say, I'm excited. We we really did go to one of the worst spots that at least has gold in the ground, and we still got 907 grams of gold with one cleanout. And it should be just getting better and better from here. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I know we didn't move as much dirt as I wanted, but that took a long time to reset and everything, and... Uh, I kind of want to know what you guys are thinking as well. Should we stay kind of where we are? Is there a better option that you guys can see on the gold map? I'm kind of liking this idea of slowly moving up this site, though, and then maybe moving over into these ones and then slowly down into these ones as well. That being said, if you guys really want to see the best ground, we could focus on this stuff and try and maybe mine from up here into that. I don't know, though. It's up to you guys. Right now, we're very much starting our open pit mine, and uh, unfortunately, it's really far away. But yeah, hopefully in the next episode we can get rid of the excavator, bring out the old uh, front end loader, and get some serious dirt moving because that's when it gets really, really fun. But yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.